In other news, city leaders, they're speaking out after a gunman kills a passenger, then hijacks a metro bus. Just the latest example of high profile violence plaguing the metro. And now the calls are growing louder as people demand a safe metro for passengers. KTLA's Mary Beth McDay joins us live in downtown LA with more. MB. Hi there, Cher and Rick, and we're told that the bus driver has been with Metro for more than a decade now, and he is being held as a hero tonight because he somehow managed to drive this bus calmly, safely, and slowly for more than an hour with an armed hijacker on board. <laughs> Emergency lights flashed on a Metro bus screen, urging people to call 911. And for good reason, an armed man identified by police as Lamont Campbell had hijacked the bus and was forcing the driver to continue driving as a dozen officers chased behind it. I saw the driver driving for his life. He was being calm. He was being really poised. He wasn't trying to talk to anybody. He just kept going. This man followed the bus on his scooter and captured the slow speed pursuit on his cell phone. It began around 1245 Wednesday morning near Manchester and Figueroa in South LA. The armed passenger apparently boarded the bus, got into an argument with the driver and shot a passenger seen slumped over a seat. Several other riders managed to escape the bus, except for the injured passenger and another rider. The driver, who was behind a newly installed protective shield, managed to hit the panic button, alerting police. The bus I was fighting for his life, driving for every second counted, you know, so he understood that. We stayed calm, though, at the same time. Police responded and deployed a spike strip as the bus made its way around downtown L.A., flattening a tire. The one flat tire on the left side, it was completely on the rim, dragging, sparks flying, everything like that, smoke, but it was still going. Finally, the bus came to a halt near Alameda and 6th Streets after an hour-long pursuit. Leaving area, this is an armed suspect. SWAT officers also responded to the scene. The SWAT officers used a distraction device, boarded the bus, rescued the bus driver, as many of you saw through the, through the, through the driver's window, and only took the suspect into custody. Unfortunately, that passenger that was shot later died at a hospital. 51-year-old Campbell of Los Angeles was arrested for murder. Meantime, city and county leaders are praising the bus driver today, calling him a hero. He was incredibly brave, driving the bus safely for an hour. This driver has been with our agency for over a decade. I know all of us are grateful for his courage and quick thinking. Yes, and uh, this suspect is being held on a $2 million bond. Now, city and county leaders say that there are plans in the works to try to make riding the metro trains and buses safer. One of them is to put some uh, weapons detection devices uh, at the different stations so that riders don't board these trains and buses with any sort of weapon. They would also like to beef up police presence on buses and trains. That's going to do it for me here in downtown Los Angeles. Mary Beth McDade. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, MB, we thank you.